Hello, ladies, and welcome to Fun's Women's Empowerment. I am MJ. Happy New Year, ladies. I am so happy to be with you again. This is the first podcast for the new year. And I just want to let you know that I am also on YouTube, Enfants Women's Empowerment, uh, LLC. This podcast will also be available. I only come on Spotify once a month, but I'm definitely on YouTube, releasing several videos during the week. And the podcast is definitely there for you to listen to once a month. So ladies, by demand or by request is help. My husband left me for another man. So ladies, I just want to let you know if you are uh, experiencing this loss, this pain, uh, please don't go through this alone. I'm asking you to please find a friend, a family member, and to definitely seek therapy to go through this process of the journey of abandonment, pain, and hurt that you may be experiencing at this time and definitely coupled with some depression so ladies you want to go ahead and try to try ladies try very hard to not stay isolated during this time but to please get help so that you can be able to love again because you deserve the love you deserve to have someone in your life if you choose to but just to be able to trust again, to be able to love again, is really the best and healthy choice for you than to stay in hurt, pain, depression. Okay, ladies, so that's one encouragement I want to part with you. Another thing, lady, is that ladies, is, you know, I want to talk about what you can do first to empower yourself. I don't want you to go running after him <laughs> and saying, come back to me, come back to me, come back to me. He's he's showing you more than he's telling you. So if he left and he went off with another man, and if he decides to come back, I'm not telling you not to take him back because I there's been several women who's testified of how their husbands have left them for another man and he they came back they're reconciled and things are going great for them so i'm not going to tell you that but what i am telling you is pray about it ask god for direction but definitely don't go running and begging him to come back to you ladies don't do that don't do it right because some men even if it's a heterosexual relationship some people feel sorry for, for you, especially if they have that kind of way, and they'll come and they'll just stay with you. And But really, it's not, a, it's not a change, right? It's not an authentic change. So you want the person to come to you and show you that they're, they, are, they really want the relationship, if that's what you're desiring, right? So don't go running and begging and having scenes and having police helicopters, you shooting up the person you want to, you want to stab the person you want to fight, you putting Vaseline on your face, you're going to, no, ladies, please, it's not worth it. Hold your integrity and hold your peace. Hold your integrity and hold your peace and allow everything to play out. What I am encouraging you to do is to get a support group. And not uh, allow your emotions to get the best of you. Because at the end of the day, it's not even worth it. Make sure that you have all your documentation in place. Don't try to uh, seek revenge. But just make sure you have all your uh, dots, your I's dots, all your T's crossed. And uh, make sure, if especially if there's children involved, it's all about you protecting yourself. Make sure you have all your documents. If you have proof or your emails or your texts, your voice messages, everything collected, journals, dates, times, all communication, financial actions together because not everybody wants to reconcile. Some people just really want to go ahead into the sunset and live the authentic life with their same-sex partner. 
And so uh, for your best interest as a woman, make sure that you are prepared for whatever outcome may come your way. Okay? As I'm telling you, you, you have to have integrity. There's no need for you to go out there running and acting crazy and having the police and all this. And you want to cut the person. You want to fight him. You want to. It's not worth it, ladies. What empower women do? They empower themselves. They think intelligently. And so make sure you have all your uh, documents together, protecting yourself, protecting your assets, protecting uh, whatever the property you may have as far as finances, especially if there's children involved. Because you don't know what's in the mind of a person. You really don't. You don't know if, if they will ever come back. Especially if that's what you're desiring. So you have to think straight. Make sure that you have a good lawyer involved. Uh, especially if the, if the man, your husband, told you that he doesn't want to come back. If this is what he said, he said, I don't want to come back. I don't, I, it's over. These are the things you need to do. Okay, so make sure that you get yourself a good lawyer. Also, make sure you, as I said before, you need to join a support group uh, or find someone to talk to, find a professional therapist or a counselor, and especially get a friend. Or make sure your family members are aware. Do not hide this situation. A lot of people hide it because they're embarrassed, they're ashamed. They feel like it was them. You know, how could he leave you for a man? No, it's not your fault. So make sure that you let your family members and your friends know. Do not keep it to yourself. It's letting them know that you need them at this time. You need to a support system, a strong support system, because this is definitely a trauma and a traumatic event. Okay? And ladies, I know a lot of you like to <laughs> post things. You don't need to put your personal life on social media. I know some of us get angry and some of us are really highly emotional and we want to put, oh, you that's why you gay and that's why you left me for a man and putting the person's business out there, especially if there's children involved, ladies, that is not something that you definitely want to do. Remember that you are an empowered woman and you are a lady of integrity. And so you want to also protect yourself and your family. So there's no need for you to put your personal business out there on social media. Okay. Sometimes uh, <laughs> I hate to say this, but some people need to just pick up and leave. If you if you're able to do that, if if this is what the final thing is, and the man is saying this is what I want to live my life with this man, I want a divorce. I want to to, to live this life as the man I really love. I want to be with. Sometimes, if you're able to, it's good to just pick up and relocate and live a new life because especially if you're living in a small town and you know that you're going to be bumping into this person in a walmart in a dollar tree or wherever uh it's feasible and advisable that you get up and just start a new life go stay with a family member go stay with a friend do something else because the hurt and pain would definitely continue to resurface any time you bump into this couple, this new couple, your husband and this uh, new man. It's 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 almost like reliving a nightmare. If you can, if you can, especially if there's kids involved. I know kids to take them out to school and to start a new life is very difficult. But I'm just advising you. That if, especially if you if there's no kids involved, if, if you think you can do it, get up, relocate, start a new life. Make sure you take good care of yourself, ladies. This is a time to put all the your emotions, your physical, your spiritual, your mental, all that energy into you. You don't need any more negative energy. You don't need to go through it, especially if you the process is finalized. Uh, he's definitely left you for this man. He's definitely not coming back. He definitely wants a divorce. He definitely wants no part of you. This time for you to take that energy and to pour it out into yourself. He's showing you better than he can tell you. And you don't need to fight for something, especially if somebody is telling you that I don't want this anymore. Okay? And I'm not telling you that if he, after he does that and you want to take him back, hey, it has worked for some people. 
But I'm just telling you to make sure you take care of yourself. In the event that this person does not want to come back, make sure that you put all that power and energy into your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, your spiritual health. It's all about you right now. And if there's children involved, especially into the children. Okay? So just want to recap that a little bit. Uh, for, make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure if you can, find a new place to live. Even if it means to move on the other side of town, if you can. You don't want to be in the same setting or environment where, especially if your kids have to see that again, okay? If you can, if it's just you by yourself, I don't know, because there's arrangements, there's marital separation, there's court paperwork, there's, there's uh, you know, all kinds of things that go into this when a man decides maybe to leave and to divorce you. And remember that the kids, if there's kids involved, you know, they may be, he may have some parental rights and all these things. But if you can, if if you're able to just start a new life in a new place, especially if you're living in a small town where everybody knows your business and it's, it's the chances of you just starting afresh and getting mentally, because this is a mental situation, especially it could affect your mental health. You need to start afresh, do that. Even it means if just to go away for some time, pick up and stay with a family, a friend, just to get your head and your thoughts collected. Try to do that. Make sure you protect, you know, if there's kids involved, make sure you protect them, prepare them for the future, right? Because they're going to be going through some challenges. Who wants to hear that their father left them and their mom for another man? And so you want to make sure that there are, uh, there's paperwork, especially done. You get a good lawyer. There's going to be parental rights, uh, custody, whatever's going to happen. Make sure that you, everything is favorable and for both parties and that you are able to have your kids pr- protected and prepared, right, for the future because they have to learn to live again, a new life. And you have to learn to live a new life again. Making sure again that you are protected, right? Making sure that that you have what you need as the wife, whatever that it needs to be uh, handed to you as far as alimony, as far as um, the home or the finances, however that's going to go down. You know, if you think that you need to this to survive and he decides that he want to get up he want to leave make sure that you get yourself a good lawyer ladies and that everything is done uh, so that you can be able to continue to live the life that you were living especially if you was living a comfortable life right make sure that you don't post things on social media it's nobody's business whatever's happening in your house is in your house and not for the whole world okay definitely ladies trying to to join a support group uh i don't care if it's two or three people finding someone to talk to a therapist counselor making sure that uh you are getting the help that you need especially if there's kids involved that they are in therapy too because this is traumatic don't forget ladies to make sure that if this is what he wants he's leaving you he's not coming back he wants a divorce make sure you get yourself a good lawyer Okay, you need a good lawyer who's going to defend you. Definitely, ladies, recapping, make sure that all your documents are ready and available. Don't be sloppy. If you want to, you know, make sure that you have your paper trail because you're going to need to protect yourself and if there's children. Make sure all your documents you have, all emails, texts, voice messages, the whole works, all dates, times, everything. All financial actions are collected and placed in an envelope so that you can definitely uh, have a good case so that you could continue to live the life that you were living before, if possible, and if you have kids. Okay? No. Don't be too proud to beg for help. Because in this situation, sometimes people go through extreme highs and lows. Sometimes you may feel so depressed, you may feel suicidal, you may feel having breakdowns because this is definitely devastating. It's definitely not something that you, uh, 
you know, thought would happen to you, you know, and especially if you are in love with him or still are in love with him, it's definitely going to be challenging. So don't be afraid to beg or act. Don't be too proud to let anyone know in your circle, your family, that you're going through a, a, a rough time and you definitely need help. Your kids need help. Can you please help me? So why would, a, you know, ladies, like, why would a man who's gay want to even marry you, right? Definitely is not the social norm for him. And he doesn't want to deal with his sexuality. Okay? So whether he's a man of status in a, you know, political office, he's in religious office, uh, whether he's just a, just a regular man who's just wants the family, the, the house with the white picket fence, two-guard garage, and the two kids, the dog or the cat. You know, it could be for financial status. You know, just not wanting to accept the fact that he may uh, doesn't want anybody to know that he's gay. So he's going to, maybe he thinks if he gets married, everything's going to go away, which it doesn't. It doesn't go away. Uh, whether you are, are gay or whatever issues you're having in life, that's why I always talk about uh, therapy. When you get married, it just, whatever issues that you half it comes into the marriage and it just gets it's almost like somebody takes a flashlight and everything illuminates it gets worse so i don't know why some people think that if i just get married everything's going to go away everything's going to get better no it does not especially if the guy is struggling right so i'm going to get to that so i just mentioned why you know why would he marry me well you know it's just not deemed for him as a social norm, he doesn't want to be known as being as being gay. You know, he could be, you know, coming from a family where there's high morals and that is just something that you don't do. We don't talk about here. We this the the you know, this family, we, we are we're all strong alpha dudes in here. That's not you you don't do that. So you're just gonna go ahead and get married and cover it up or you know, he could be in a religious uh, sector. He could be, you know, some countries, uh, no matter, this, this is 2024, just not accepting that. You, that is a taboo. They don't want to, you're not going to come say that, right? So what the person does, they just, instead of them sitting down by themselves, <laughs> they may even just go with the pressure of, you know, why are you not married? Why are you just, when are you going to get married? Get married and you. They just go ahead and try to fit in with this deemed as the social norms, get married and make somebody's life miserable, right? So there's so many reasons, so many reasons. And that person who has done that to you can only tell you their personal reason why they decide to marry someone that they really probably was not interested in. Some of them are, really are. I've read and even heard of some men who really liked this woman they were really in love with the woman but they were just struggling and through the course of the marriage they realized I just can't do this no more and they just leave it's it's hard pill to swallow but it's the truth and some of us fall victim to this situation some people, yes, are wicked and was wicked and knew that they were not in love with the person. They, they have no intentions of, but for whatever selfish gain, whether it be financial, political, uh, social, they just decide to choose this woman who was innocent and to come in their life to climb whatever uh, economic or social or, I don't know, ladder that they had envisioned. And that having this uh beautiful woman, uh, the white picket fence house, the two-car garage would do it. And it actually helped. <laughs> it really did. It helped a lot of men who are on a low to accomplish what they needed to accomplish in life. And a lot of women has 
or is falling prey. So I gave you some things to do, ladies. Um, if that has happened to you, if you are definitely in a situation where the man has decided to just leave and he doesn't want to come back and he's telling you that, hey, I've decided that I want to be with John, you know, that what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, ladies? So I have gave you a list of things. Finally, some of the signs to look for, especially single ladies, I need you to listen. I need you to listen real close. Some men do disclose. Men talk. All you got to do is listen when a person talks. Keep your mouth shut for a while. And you can learn a whole lot about a person. You know, some men disclose and they tell you, you know, I was raped. I was molested. I was sexually abused or, you know, a family member did this to me or a friend or I was walking and I got raped. I went, you know, so many things happen to people and is happening to people. And as women, we need to listen. And then you ask yourself, if he tells you that before you get married to him, especially before you need to ask yourself, now, can I deal with this? And then you need to ask him the who, the what, the when, the where, the how. How is he dealing with it? How is he coping with it? Knowledge has increased, ladies. It's not like before when we didn't know much. You need to dig deep. You need to dive deep. And even if you're married to him now, how are you dealing with this? What's going on with you? Are you having same-sex feelings still? Or have you ever had it? What are you doing with this emotion? Did you get help? Do you want to get help? How is it affecting you in the past with women? Um, are you able to keep a woman? Or, you know, I, I remember years, many, many, many moons ago, I had a client who would tell me, in order for me to enjoy my wife, I need to fantasize having sex with a man. You need to ask that question, ladies. Do you, do you have to do that now? Can you enjoy a woman? Can you be happy with a woman? That is insight. That is new level insight, old level insight, in new world insight, acts. Don't just let it flare off your head and let them talk and be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, no more. Number two, he is always with another dude. I don't care if he says his friend, my friend, my cousin, my uncle, my brother. You need to find out. Why are you always spending more time with this dude than you are with me and I'm your wife? You are the wife. He needs to spend more time with you, be it in your presence. And you don't need to hear any excuses as to why he's always out there with his friend or whoever this dude is. Okay, so you need to pay close attention. You need to, you need to be clocking that. Like, listen, where are you? I'm with so-and-so. Again? Why? Oh, that is this. Pay attention. Stop writing. Writing. Stop paying attention, ladies. No good. No good. He's spending more time with the dude than you. Something is not right. Definitely red flag. Number two, he is always trying to avoid intimacy with you. You want to hug. You want to snuggle. You might. You want to just be in his presence and he's always avoiding you. Another sign of a red flag. Although there's some men who they can do, they can, they can really put it on you now <laughs> and be gay, right? But I'm talking about this as a red flag. Always avoiding you, don't want to be around you, don't want to be intimate with you, don't want to uh, be close to you. Always have an excuse why, oh, I have a headache, oh, I don't feel good, oh, I'm tired, or, oh, I want to do this, I had a long day. That is a red flag. And this can go for same sex or opposite sex relations, ladies. Red flag. Too many excuses, too many. You know, you're, you're, you have insight like, yo, something is not right. Like, we're not bonding. We're not, we're not, okay? I'm not talking about those that are, but I'm talking about this. Number three sexual lack of sexual attraction towards you doesn't want to have sex with you don't want to touch you it's almost like making love to a stone it's just mechanical 
It's not genuine, okay? Although, yes, I did say there's some men who can really put it on you and be gay. But I'm talking to those ladies right now. You're recognizing that something is wrong, okay? Something is wrong. One of these red flags doesn't want nothing to do with you. He just actually, you got to actually rape him or take the sex from him because he doesn't want to have sex. You need to figure out why. Why? Why are you acting like this? And especially if it's long term, because yes, men do go through some phases of life where they're going through some emotional problems on job with their personal life, but it's can't, it should not be an ongoing life situation for you. Too long. Too long. You suffer from depression or something, something, what's going on? Six months, a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, ten years, and you guys are living like roommates. Something is wrong. An investigation on your part and a sit down with him needs to be done ASAP. Another red flag. He's always on the computer, his phone. Ladies on that more than he is with you. At night time, he's supposed to be in the bed with you. He's up all night. All you see is this light shining bright as him on his laptop, on his phone. And when you come around, he just slightly just slicks it off, flicks it off because he don't want you to see what he's looking at. Uh, Red flag. You ask him, oh, nothing. He doesn't want to show you, he doesn't want to share. You try to look at the histories, everything is deleted. Too many red flags, ladies. Too many red flags. Okay? Not showing you who he's talking to. Uh, you may find out that he has a porn site and uh, it may be same-sex porn. He may be on dating sites. That's another red flag. And when you ask questions, he can't give you a legitimate answer. Red flag, ladies. Definitely red flag. Another red flag is he's so homophobic, extremely homophobic. Ladies, there's no reason why every time you go out, every time somebody, your husband, sees someone of the same sex together, that he has to be saying something. All the time. Every time. You can't, you, you have to say something on a constant, and it's a constant conversation. Um, why, why is that bothering you? All the time. Everywhere we go. Even when the TV is showing that you got to have a speech. Um, ladies, check that. Check that, please. And finally, ladies, finally. You definitely need to figure out why. Why on earth? Why on earth? Does he find men attractive and he's telling you that in a conversation? It's one thing to compliment a man, but to always show and tell you, oh man, he looks good in that so and so. He looks good in that. Why are you that? It's a little bit too much now. One to, you know, once you talk, you know, you talk about that dude, that shirt is nice, but you, 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 it's every time. You talking about another dude to me? And we're getting around friends, you overly affectionate with the dude. Are you making expressions or verbal expressions with the dude? Oh, that, that, that's my homie, man. That's my, that's my dude. Really? Um, okay. No, I'm just overly affectionate, you know. I just, that's my, that's my ride or die. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Ladies, check the red flags. And single ladies, I want you to recognize that that because a man is not acting what they call zesty or sassy and, and so feminine as uh, the, the typical stereotype of a, of a gay man, that he is not gay. Okay, he could be coming in alpha, do sigma, do strong, Powerful vocals, deep voice, move a shaker, what you need, babe, all of that. Doesn't mean he's not gay. Single ladies. Doesn't mean it. The best of the best are. 
best of the best alpha man strong six foot five coming in five eleven i don't care five four alpha sigma i don't care what what height unless he tells you his sexual preference don't guess it pay attention single ladies pay attention and pay attention marry women to the red flags this is the topic today help my husband left me for a married man i am mj if you have any questions comments leave it below be blessed and enjoy the rest of the year